against my goats? What does that mean anyway? What a stupid phrase. Welcome to Dupo Remo. Anyhow, uh, I'm not sure how we got onto this subject, but uh, hopefully it's been entertaining for somebody. Oh, yeah, right, right. And and I think you mentioned... Um, Mel Brooks. No, before that, you mentioned The Princess Bride. And I remember when that came out, was it 88? Some 87? right around there, yeah. All of the commercials and that stuff saying uh, the new comedy from Rob Reiner. You know, from the director of Spinal Tap comes this new comedy kind of thing. And I, I a lot of people say it's a comedy. I still don't see it. I think that it's a fantasy. I think that it's a love story. I think it's a damn good coming of age story in its own a fairy tale kind of thing. But but it's not funny. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just <laughs> it, it, it's is regarding Henry a comedy. No, but there's that black guy that always says, hey, I got lucky last night or whatever. OK, sure. You laugh at everything he says. Because black guys are funny, but it's not a comedy. And I don't know. You can disagree and that's totally fine. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I don't think I agree with you on that one, but okay. it's all right. Go, go ahead. It's a comedy. It's very funny. And its main purpose, I think, is to be funny. Oh, that's just heartbreaking to hear you say. Isn't only a comedy, which separates it from like the sex comedies and stuff that you were talking about before, because it does a lot more than just be a comedy. But uh, that's just my opinion. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Those are the shrieking eels. Did you see that with an audience? I did. Yeah, I actually saw that in the theater. That's rare for you. I was one of the 100 people in America that did that. Oh, I saw it in the theater. Too. <laughs> oh, you were one of them as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think it was after the movie had come out and, you know, it was on its way out because nobody went to it because it had been pitched as a comedy. Uh, and somebody said, no, there's like sword fighting and action and adventure. And there's even like a monster in there. And I was just like, really? And there's giant rats and stuff. It's an adventure story. You'll love it. And I went and I was like, wow, I did. And there was kissing. But I think that the, there was a huge misstep to say from the director of Spinal Tap. You know, it just. A spinal Tap? Was that a big thing? I think it was a cult movie. You know, it was one of those that yeah. the people that liked it really liked it and really was like oh you got to watch this because it's a documentary but it's pretend and, you know, i'm not sure that that had really been done at least a lot at, least. a lot at that point and uh yeah i don't know trying to appeal to a cult audience is never a smart thing go and see the movie that only that one weird guy likes <laughs> you're tearing me apart lisa it's by the director of the movie that that one freak dude in your office likes go and see it everybody <laughs> That's not a good marketing strategy. This is Spinal Tap might have been a huge hit, and I just didn't know because... Yeah, I don't know either. It wasn't something that would appeal to a boy. You know, a little boy is what I I'm saying. I was going to say, by a boy, you don't mean like a teenage boy. You mean a young boy, right? Well, it was, I think, 83, so I wasn't right. a teenager or anything like that. I'm just saying, it's it seems to me like it would very much appeal to a teenage boy, but not to a young boy, you're right. Well, when did you first see this as Spinal Tap? I saw it in 2012. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've seen it uh, all the way through ever, but I saw lots of it when I was in college. Probably when I first heard of it, to tell you the truth, was once I was into college, so I was sheltered. Do you like those mockumentary flicks, like the ones that Christopher Guest does? For the most part, no. I've kind of gotten sick and tired of that whole thing. That's one of the reasons why I don't like to watch Office is because they do that friggin' mockumentary thing. That's one of, I think, the downfalls of that Modern Family show, which is really funny, but... Oh, it's done in a mockumentary style? At least some of... Uh, I'm trying to remember... Oh, you're right, because they have them address the camera yeah. and say, I was really excited about Harvey's birthday. Yeah, they'll do interviews with them where they're... That kind of crap just... I, I'm sick of that. I'm sorry. It's That's just, how Arrested Development is. Oh, Arrested Development was it's, like that too? It's shot like a documentary, but they don't ever make any effort to pretend that it is a documentary. You know, there's all sorts of coverage and reaction shots. and Because This is Spinal Tap was seriously done enough that if I had seen it as a little boy, I would have thought it was a documentary. Uh -huh. And You'd have been like, Where, I want to hear Spinal Tap's album. And <laughs> there's been stuff like that. 
that's done so seriously, you go, is this real? I mean, so, you know, some of the Onion news articles, not articles, but the, the Onion videos or whatever, some of them, they maintain like a very low level of humor. It's a satire that's not in your face or whatever. It's subtle enough that, you know, a big chunk of the audience, not just the morons, the ones that are just <laughs> like, did President Obama really transform into He-Man when he raised that sword? But, you know, a lot of people are like, I'd never heard this. How have I never heard that this had happened? Oh, there's this one onion right now that uh, the witch, the old woman that granted Beyonce fame and beauty had just come to claim her firstborn her first child. child. And it was really, really funny and really well done. And they had this woman done up as a crone and she did like a press conference and they show like a bunch of footage of like Destiny's Child concerts and stuff. And you can see her in the background biding her time. And oh, it was really, really excellently done. And I'll bet there's still... Three percent of the audience is like, "Is this real?" Yeah. Beyonce's French. You see what I did there? I went back. That's a, a callback, and call that's back? what you go out on. You you tell the band when you hear Beyonce's French to play the music, and Carson comes out and goes, "That that that was funny, funny stuff." Yeah, that's right. To be continued. That gets my goat is produced under a Creative Commons license. Why am I telling you this? Fighting gangs for local charities, that kind of thing. Why should that make such a difference? Hit it with a rock! Oh, well, it's not very sportsmanlike. Oh, well.